हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल यू शैल लर्न लेट्स लर्न द यूसेज ऑफ शुड एंड मस्ट लेट्स बिगिन विथ शुड शी शुड टेक हिम टू द डॉक्टर here should is used to express advice you should play outside here also should is used to express advice should we call the police as someone is hiding in the garden here should is used for suggestion we should eat more vegetables and fruits here should is used for suggestion he should be at the tea stall here should is used for probability thus we can say that we use should to make suggestions or to give an advice or sometimes to express probability let's see the usage of must in these sentences you must help your friend in need here must expresses strong obligation you must submit your medical report at the head office before joining the school here must expresses compulsion you must wear a helmet while driving a motor cycle here must expresses advice you must try these pastries these look so yummy here must is used for suggestion remember you are in a library you must not speak loudly here here must not is used to express prohibition i must get my hair cut here must expresses an obligation that involves the speaker's opinion with such dark clouds in the sky it must rain as the fields are dry here must expresses necessity i must finish this chapter today here must expresses determination we have learned the usage of should and must in terms of advice suggestion probability obligation compulsion prohibition determination necessity now let's revise and compare these sentences he must not smoke in the office premises it is an order which is likely to be obeyed he should not smoke in the office premises this is more or less 
a piece of advice which may or may not be obeyed she must wait it's an order she should wait it's a piece of advice i hope now you have understood the usage of should and must here are some more examples please repeat after me you should tell the truth i must talk to him you must write to her you should take a rest i must remember to get a present for my mother you should turn off your mobile phone in classroom in this module we have learned the usage of modal auxiliaries should and must in the next module you will listen to the conversation based on all the models you have learned till then happy learning thank you